Yule kicks off with Mother's Night, December 20th. Mother's Night is when we're going to be paying homage to the females in our life. Our mothers, our grandmothers, our ancestors, the Desirs, what they were called in Old Norse, and our the goddesses. These are the people who are going to be looking out for us all year long, but especially during the 12 days that the veil, the veil between the other world and our world is thin. One of the reasons Old Norse traditions have stuck with us is because they were just traditions. They weren't so much religious as cultural. So it was very easy for the Old Norse to just place Christian names into their already set traditions. So Lusty becomes Lucia. Desir become angels. So you kind of understand where we're going with this. So on the first night, we want to pay homage to the, to the Desir, the angels that look out for us all year long. What we're going to do is we're going to light our Yule log or whatever's going to represent the Yule log in your home. Put candles on the window because this is the time that we want to light the darkness for anyone who might be lost so they can find their way home. Take your burning incense, your rosemary, or evergreen are good scents to use. Clean out all the corners of your home. You're going to chase away the evil spirits. This is the night to give treats to your animals, livestock, you know, cats, dogs. This is the night that the animals will be offering up their secrets, all the evil that they've witnessed throughout the year. We want to bake to honor our ancestors. So if you have an old family recipe, this is a good time, good night to start to make that. And then pass that out to children. Pass it out to your mothers, your grandmas. Um, this is today I'm going to be making the Christmas crack. I call it easy toffee, but it's become Christmas crack over the years. Um, and we want to give thanks. We want to give thanks to our mothers, the grandmas, the wives in your life, the people who keep the hearth and home for you and look out for you all year long. This is the night to, to give thanks to them. This also marks the first night of Yule. So the first night of less work. In traditional times, they would have stopped all work, but that's a little hard in modern times. So what's important in modern times is that you know, don't start any new projects until the first. Blessed be tomorrow is Odin's night, December 21st. Join me tomorrow. Happy Yule. Happy winter solstice. Happy December 21st. Happy Odin and Sleipnir and their wild hunt night. Yes, this is the longest night. Um, it was a sacred night. The Old Norse believed this was Odin's last great push to get it, all the lost souls and all the dead and take them with him. So it was very important on this night to gather with your loved ones indoors or around a roaring fire someplace safe away from Odin's path. Keep your candles lit in your window because it's the last great push for lost souls. And so we want lost souls to be able to find their way home. So keep your candles lit in your window. Your log, your Yule log should still be burning. Your incense should still be going. And tonight is the night to gather for a feast. If you miss all the other nights, this is the night to do it. And this is where they think that leaving treats for Santa and the stockings come from. Because old Norse children used to leave their shoes, their boots, filled with treats for Sleipnir for Odin's horse. And when Odin came and saw that and saw the kindness of the children, he would leave little gifts in their boots in return. So they think that that's where the stockings hung by the chimney with care and treats left out for Santa, where that originates from. So tonight of all nights, you want to gather with your family and feast. You want to keep your Yule log burning, keep your candles in the window. And for children, make it fun. Have them set out their boots filled with treats for Sleipnir and then when they wake in the morning they can find little gifts in their boots for themselves. Join me tomorrow for night three. Blessed be. Happy third night of Yule. This is the moon god's night, December 22nd. We're celebrating the moon god, Manny. Now the moon god had an important job. He was dragging the, the moon across the sky and uh, darkness was chasing him. That's often how he's depicted. The moon illuminated the night sky for hunters back in our ancestors' time. But on a more personal note, it was also 
a way of eliminating your own personal darkness. So this is a good night when we're celebrating the moon god for journaling. It's a good night to journal your dreams specifically, but any kind of journaling is going to be a good day for that. It's a good day to set goals and intentions for the following year. If you're following the months, because each day, the 12 days, is a just a micro of the month that it represents. And so this is the third month or March that is being represented in this third day. You want to keep your Yule log burning. You want to, or whatever's representing the Yule log in your home. You want to keep a candle in the window, and you want to keep your cleansing going. Um, now, that's going to be important because it does help clean the air. It's scientifically proven that it actually helps clean the air. So as we're gathering together with family and friends, we want to make sure we're keeping our air clean so no one gets sick. Join me tomorrow for day four. Happy Yule. Day four of Yule, December 23rd. This is Iger. Friars and Yord's night. Now, as legend has it, Ager had everyone over into his hall and hosted the gods on this night. Poured out goblets of wine to the gods that could not be there. But it was all about kinship and about celebrating other people tonight. Giving thanks to other people tonight. Specifically, um, ancestors, your family, your friends. It's a big feast night. Um, and historically, it would have been a night of celebrating prosperity for the year coming and peace for the year coming. And if not peace, then winning the battle. So it's a good night to have friends over and have a, a good meal, a good feast. Pour out the libations. Celebrate your ancestors, your friends. And keep your Yule log burning. Keep your air cleansed. And the candle in the window. As we go through the 12 days of Yule, those three things are going to carry through every single day. And join me here tomorrow for a day five of Yule. And we discover how to, we can celebrate that in the modern day and what it meant historically. Blessed be. Happy fifth day of Yule. This is the Feast of Community. Today, unlike other days, we're not giving this day over to the gods. This day was reserved for the community, for the people in the community, for the travelers, or those in need. So traditionally and now in modern times, the way to celebrate this day is to give back, whether it's with food, with clothing, with shelter, with skills that you have, Whatever way you could find to give back to the community, give back to people, this is the day that you would do that and put your energy and time into doing good deeds for other people and not focus so much on the gods. We want to take care of the meek and the mild amongst us. So blessed to be. Enjoy the fifth day. Join me tomorrow for the sixth day. This is the sixth day of Yule, December 25th. And today it is Er's feast. Er was the goddess of healing. She is the goddess for healers. It was her job to teach women how to heal. On this day, traditionally, they would have offered up offerings to her, blessings to her. And this was her feast and a night to give thanks to her for her healing powers and her healing knowledge. Same is true today. This is what we do on, on Anna's Day. We offer up blessings to her, thanks to her. Pray for anyone who is sick on this day. Keep your Yule log burning. Candle in the window. And today of all days, make sure you are burning your cleansing incenses. You are cleansing simmer pots. Keep the air nice and clean. And give thanks for being healthy for the next year.